Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we continue my journey to complete Ark Survival Evolved and Scorched Earth. Between episodes, I've managed to grab another rock golem. It was a level 80, sat not too far from where we tamed the one last week. And I've also got our first T-Rex in the bag. It was nothing special, it was a 120 male and it kind of got stuck in between the cliff, so it was an easy tame. The stats weren't so great on it, had around 6,000 health and less than 300% melee damage. Nonetheless, it's something to get started, and if we do go into that final fight with T-Rexes, well, I've got one at least in the bag. So today we're going to do our first artifact run, and we're going to take on the easiest cave of the three, which is the Lost Cave, which holds the artifact of the gatekeeper. And I've crafted a rocket launcher and some ammunition just in case we run into some of these rubble golems. Just grab these eggs off my UTs here. I need to get some more kibble made up. And the rocket launchers, they're really expensive. The ammunition's quite expensive for them. So if I can avoid using it, I will. The rock golems, as tough as they are, they're pretty stupid and you can generally kite them into a corner. And if you get out of their way, they just go back into their rock form. So if I can save the ammunition, I will for different caves. And it's only if one's literally blocking our way will I actually use the rocket launcher. And uh, we're going to take Vex out for our first run and hopefully we can stumble across some decent blueprints. So let's head on out to the Lost Cave, and I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so this is the entrance to the Lost Tunnels through this gate and into this really cool little canyon. Quite a distinctive place on the map. As you can see, Vex makes short work of these jumps. And if you're after taming a Viola Collio and you have access to the Scorched Earth map, it's definitely the place to come and tame one. We've managed to get a full imprint and a mutation on Vex and uh, she's going to do us well. And the cave entrance should be... Hmm. I, think we took a wrong turn. I think we just go round here. Come on Vex, you can make it. Come on girl. Ooh, it's close. Come on. Up you go. Up, 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 up. Ooh. Can she do it? Yeah, you gotta love the Philo, but um, she is a pretty good Philo Collio. I'm planning to do all three caves on the Philo, but we might struggle to get through some gaps. That's why we've got the cryopods, just in case we need to cryo vex and just squeeze through some gaps. We should be good. Now, being that we can't get any otters on this map, I'm going to have to put a crate down outside. We can just drop our artifacts inside here and pretty much camp out this cave for the rest of the day. I want to try and find some decent loot in here. Even though it's not the best cave on the map, cave loot is generally the best loot. And I'm hoping at the very least to find some decent blueprints for our armor. We can find some decent scorched earth armor the desert stuff but yeah i love these caves in here probably the most detailed of all of the caves actually they did get that right on scorched earth so let's just stick a torch on the back of vex's saddle if you didn't know you could do that you can add a torch onto your dino saddle and it keeps it hands free sheds a nice light on everything yeah look at the sort of bioluminescent goo dropping from the ceilings there. Gotta love it. I love the way the light shines through in these caves. Okay, so, so far, no enemies just yet. Which is worrying because I have had problems on the island map with not everything spawning in. It's like one onyx down there. So, just get my long neck. There's something else I could do with a decent long neck rifle blueprint still using the primitive one and a primitive shotgun so anything like that would be really good that being said this is the easier of the three caves so 
we'll, we'll see what sort of loot drops in here. But yeah, this is not looking so good. There should be plenty of bad things trying to stop us, not just the one bat. So perhaps things have not spawned in properly this time. We've got a nice mural there of people worshipping the obelisk. And let's just continue down here. I don't want to rush it and go too fast. We should get megalania, rubble golems and all sorts of things. But so far just the one bat is not a good sign that this cave is working correctly. Okay, well, let's just continue on and like I say, I'm going to camp it all day. Now this is where I think Vex may not, yeah, I don't think she can squeeze through here. Let's just try jumping off and see if she can follow me through. And if not, well, we do have the cryo balls so we can just cryo her and chuck her through this tunnel here. No, she can't follow us through so got no choice but to just cryo her for a second. Like I say this has been a game changer for how you do all of the caves. In my original playthrough it was my intention to do some breeding inside the artifact of the strong cave but being that we could just chuck a couple of aloes inside there, it completely changed the way we play in that cave. So I love the details in here. As you can see, very Indiana Jones-like. We've got some crypts and some rotten bodies there. This looks like a Rockwell note from the chest just here. And of course, I do get asked if I'm going to be doing the note refrow, and of course I will be. I want to go through them just as I have before, but I do need to use all of these notes and complete Scorched Earth first. And I can't see anything else here. Another mural here. And just have a look down here. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not worked. There's no loot crates and... I think I've stumbled across like one bat. So this is a little bit unfortunate. Let's just see if the very least the artifact has spawned in. Carry on around here. Vex should be able to jump this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I like sticking the torch on the back of the saddle. Uh, that works with all saddles, by the way, but yeah, it kind of casts a nice light on everything. Saves me having to gamma up full whack. Even though I have gammaed up a little bit for the cave, I just I like the way the light shines on things. Makes it feel a little bit more real with these rays of light just passing through gaps here. Love it, love it. Ah, oh, yeah, Vex can jump across the whole thing. Even if she does fall down here, it's not like a bottomless pit on this one. Okay, oh, we've got some cave stairs. Now, I'm not sure if we can actually tame these, but, you know, they're all 200 plus in level. So, yeah. Um, oh, that's it. That's it. That's all the bosses we came across. No rubble golems. Nothing. So here's the artifact of the gatekeeper. We didn't get any loot crates, so it definitely didn't work on this run. Let's grab the artifact. We also get a skin. It's something that was unique to the Scorched Earth map. All artifacts have these little skins that you can stick on your weapons, which is uh, quite a cool little addition, actually. I like that idea. Um, I'll just see what fell down here. I know a manta just fell down here, so I'm going to completely kill it, everything out of this cave. Wait outside, and hopefully when we go back in, everything spawns in properly. I mean, the main thing is the artifacts spawning in, but it doesn't really offer much of a challenge. 
when we haven't got any of the dinos and creatures spawning in. It's just a case of running in and grabbing it. So, hopefully it's just the first time we've done it. It's just a glitch. And uh, when we come back in, these enemies and especially the loot crates start spawning back. I can say, I don't know if it's possible to tame the snails, but when they're all 200 plus in level, there's very little point. So, and uh, David B and my pack of wolves have been doing pretty well for piranhas. Whoops, ooh, yeah. Okay. Max couldn't make the full jump. I'll just take that one a little bit slower. So, yeah. Getting cementing paste hasn't really been a problem with my wolf pack and Equus tame. And uh, polymer has also been quite easy to get hold of, so I'm not as fussed about getting the snails on this map. Although, hey, a couple would of extra would have been nice. So, like I say, I don't, I don't think it's possible to tame the cave snails. Okay, got another level. I guess I'm just going to keep on pumping melee damage. Vex is pretty OP now, to be fair. Okay. Well, no loot crates as of yet. Let's get outside. Give it a 20 minute sort of wait. And uh, we'll keep coming in and out all day. Let's just see what happens. Like I say, we've got a really good chance of getting some good loot crates. Well, that's if they actually spawn. Is there anything in here worth grabbing? I'll just leave this stuff for now. Should probably grab the hide. I'm going to need it. Okay. Well, we've got one artifact. At the very least, I'm going to need three. I want a fourth to display as always but I'm going to keep coming in and out of this cave get as many blueprints as I can and yeah that was pretty easy going no challenge there ah here we go look got some scorpions and mantis spawning in now so spawned in behind us unfortunately Right, well, if we give it a 20 minute break and come back inside, hopefully it starts working the way it's meant to. We'll just give it a little bit of a rest. Like I say, not having an otter means we can't grab loads of artifacts, but that's okay. I can just leave them outside here. That way we can just sort of fly in and grab them, bring them back to base one at a time. I'll just take the torch off and save you. I'll stick the artifact uh, in here so we can keep on grabbing plenty of them. I'll keep one of the skins as well. Oh yeah, on the way here I found some chitin armor. Never tend to use it to be quite honest with you. I don't like the way it looks even though it gives us a good armor rating back. Um, okay, well, we'll try again in 20 minutes, see if we can find some better stuff. Okay, I don't know if I focused on this other mural in here, but as you can see, there's an arm with an implant. At the bottom, we've got the brood mother. Above that, there's the dragon, the manticore, and the monkey, the gigantopithecus. So it would suggest that the old survivors were aware of being on the Ark and knowing about the island map. That's quite an interesting one there. Again, we will go through the notes and the read through at the end of this series and find out all about the history and the lore and what happened here. Okay, let's head inside again. Things are spawning back in correctly now, although I haven't come across any rubble golems. That's one thing that's not happened yet. 
but and also the oh loot crates I was just gonna say the loot crates are not working but there's a loot crate so everything seems to be working it just must have been a glitch in the matrix on our first run well let's check out what's inside this one Ooh, fantastic a blueprint for an ascendant piece of cloth desert armor that's going to offer much better durability and much better hypothermic insulation. That's a really good blueprint to find. I was hoping to find some armor blueprints for the desert armor stuff in here. Okay, got another loot crate there. Say a few on it spawning in now. The only thing I've not come across are the rubble golems. So. Been a, been a little bit strange. Still, we continue. Keep on punch, pumping melee damage on Vex here. Absolute tank now. Yeah, like you see, there's some scorpions. I've even had some amphiploras. Titan boas. So, the only thing that seems to have not worked are the rubble golems does sometimes happen in these caves like it did on the island at least the artifacts are spawning in properly and we're definitely getting loot crates now oh, let's see what the red loot crate offers us mm -hmm. okay we've got an ascendant flamethrower ascendant thorny saddle okay Another loot crate just here. What we got this time? Our Mastercraft set of gloves. Fantastic. So out of all three caves, this one is the easiest. So the loot crates are not going to be the greatest. I'm still camping it out anyway everything out. Okay, well we got a rubble golem this time and yeah, things are working as they should. It's just taking a little time to uh, to get it right. I'm not going to bother using our ammunition. Oh, Megalania! Ooh. That was close. I didn't see them. Don't want to get mega rabies. But yeah, things are spawning correctly. If you get out of their way like this, it has gone back into its rock form. Looks like a thunderstorm's on the way. Better get Vex in a cryopod straight away, because once that thunderstorm comes in, we won't be able to use the cryo stuff for a little bit. It sort of blocks electrics. Okay, well I think I might call it quits for today on camp in this cave. I'm running out of space in my chest. Managed to grab five artifacts we've got a good selection of blueprints there we've got some good desert armor and i'll just leave these artifacts outside i think we can always come back in and do um, a couple more days of blueprint hunting let's get back to base okay so we've managed to get ourselves a artifact of the gatekeeper and we've also managed to get some half decent blueprints for some desert armor. Like I say, I've crafted the gloves and the shirt, both of which offering a lot better durability and much better hypothermic insulation. And I'll just show you the skin. It was a skin for the pike, one of the things that you can get on the Scorched Earth map in all of the artifacts of these skins. So it's like a, a cool raptor skin on the end of your pike so something that's unique to the scorched earth map all of the artifacts offer these little trinket skins i, I kind of like that i wish that uh, 
they would do that in more of the maps. However, I think the cave was a little bit glitched out, but in the end, everything was spawning in correctly, and I didn't have to waste any of my ammunition on the rubble golems. We just managed to kite them into corners and just get out of their way. So I've got more ammunition going forward into the two other caves, and there's certainly going to be a better selection of blueprints in the other two caves. That one was the easier one of the three caves. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.